G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of this True Footy AFL Evo career mode. Oh, of course, we're playing Hudson, the Gold so Coast Suns up at Metricon today, today in what should be a not too challenging Suns affair. Of course, don't forget we're without welcome Nick Nat Nui, Luke Shuey and Brad Shepard for an extended period of time, most of the next two months. Although Shuey's of course out for the year. Um, We've had a couple of tricky trips to Metricon. Off the top of my head, I'm trying to think. The Eagles' last two trips to Metricon might have been a loss in 2017 and a draw in 2015. I could be wrong on that, Eagles fans. Correct me if I'm wrong. So we actually haven't done too well at this ground in recent times, but I'm hoping today we buck that trend. And it is an important game. They're all important. Of course, we've got, I think we're at two games clear on top of the ladder, but we've got important games against the Giants next week in Perth and Collingwood at the G after that. So, need to take the four points today for sure. That is a good spot up and it won't quite make it. We'll get a ball up. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out oh. there right now, and it's great. <laughs> yes, the snap kick out of the pack, just banged on triangle there. Darling with the crumbing goal from the from the stoppage. That was awesome. Handballs to a teammate on the run. He heads for home. Oh, JK with a strong run. Is that Barras? Oh, I didn't even have to press anything. Jamie Cripps has socketed off the ground, and the Eagles have two goals to nothing. Sexton puts on a big hit. Sexton, the recipient of the free kick. Oh, I've been reported. I'm not too sure why. I think with rough conduct, I didn't actually see who it was. I'm hoping it's not Shannon Hearn because he is a key player in this side. And that looks like a very good kick. It is. Sexton gets the Suns on the board. I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Has to do better. Hey, Dom Shee been gifted a free kick right in front of goal after a tough couple of minutes here. And the Eagles get one against the momentum, actually. Looks to move it by foot. Barris, dug out the loose ball. Holman going to one. Too good. The Suns are playing great pressure in the forward line there, uh, resulting in a goal, which is a reward for a good passage of about 10 minutes here from Gold Coast. Finding the loose ball. Someone's got to take the kick. Dom Sheet has nailed it. Coast. Am I going to drop punt this or snap it? I might snap it. I still don't know how to snap to kicks. Open up the angle. Oh, shanked it. Oh, is that going to go close? It'll go close, Take but it won't. Oh, it's been marked. That is Kennedy awesome. Kicking from dead in front. Josh Kennedy finally standing up. I don't remember the last time he took a contested mark. He's banged it home. Gets the loose ball. Rushes with the kick. Oh, she takes the mark. This Gold Coast so starting to make a lot of errors here. They're playing distance. well, but they've gifted me a few opportunities in front of goal with some poor Goes decisions and poor skill execution. He delivers with a drop pass. That's at the moment, Gaz. I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Oh, he's paid the mark just inside the line. Darling, I'll take it. That is a good grab by Jack Darling. I'm not having much luck with the snaps. Deciding to go around the corner. Oh, that is actually That's a very good kick. Goal. That is the, the first time I've kicked a snap like that now. and scored a goal. Smiles all round. Archie got under oh, good grab from Archie. There's no one ahead of him, though. Is that Kennedy? Moves does he want the ball? ball. He's calling for it. Kennedy. He might he get it. He does. Might be too far Should out to score. make no mistake here. He goes it alone. Looks okay off the boot. That looked great. What a goal. It's cut off by Heron. Well, continues Ooh, to Gold Coast should run into an open goal here. Mind you, they've made a mess of easier stuff than that. And that ease. should be put through the middle, and it is. It might be a bit of an injury for Dallas. Going straight to the rooms, doesn't look good. Oh, come on. Not a single Eagles player laid a hand to that. That is poor defence. And now I think it was Sean Lemons has marked. Is that Sean Lemons? No, it's not. It's Piers Hanley, my bad. Has marked it. And the Suns get two very quick goals. A time to sell. The tackle misses completely. Heron takes the mark. Elects to kick. 
Open opportunity for right. Drives towards half forward. Stuck the mitts out there and held oh, to it. Oh, screwed that around Takes the body. Nice and again, Oscar Allen fails to score. So that's two contests now. this quarter where he has struggled. I might have to toggle him back out of defence. I don't know why he's there, frankly. What a fantastic goal. Quickly onto the boot. Oh, JK, with the uncontested defend. grab. Can he find Goes trips? I feel like I'm going to mess this West up. Uh, no. Oh, I have messed it up. <laughs> That's actually funny. If we weren't 25 points in front, I wouldn't have laughed. That was done by me. But here we go, guys. Dominant first half, sort of. There were periods where Gold Coast were definitely the better side. Uh, but I was just able to capitalise on some of their really poor mistakes. They did some dumb stuff like give away free kicks in front of goal. Um, or cross the ball, or like square the ball in their back half and I took a mark or something like that. Overall, pleased with the performance, but there's definitely room for improvement. Darling drives the kick. Allen works one on the oh, ball. Oscar Allen, the man I was just roasting for his poor defensive efforts, has moved rightfully crowd. back into the forward line and kicked a clever goal straight away. Sinks the slipper into it. Oh, he's burned me with that as well. Holman and Peter Wright combining. Home, Very nicely there. The Holman's wins. tore me up. A must kick goal here. The drop part sails, but oh, I've paid it a goal. Damn, I thought I got a fist to that. And that is a goal post goal that cuts it to 24 points. Made the tricky bounce look easy. Oh, this should be an uncontested grab to Kennedy. How did that happen? Sloppy defense from Gold Coast. They've made errors in the back half today. And it is starting to pile up. Stands tall and marks. Kick back right. I think that ricocheted off my boot there. And Gold Coast get an easy goal. I'm not too sure what happened there. That sort of deviated away from where I was going. And the Gold Coast get one back. Simple things right. Goes a long way towards winning. West Coast have been extremely well. Oscar Allen with the uncontested mark, four to fifty. He's had a mixed day so far. This should make it two goals for him in what is a very decent return. And it could get worse. Taps it down. Well, I just threw it. A chance here. Oh, been gifted throwing the ball. Bailey Williams has not kicked an AFL goal yet. This could be his first for the club. Can he put it through? He's put it What's through, that? and he's put together a very good start to his career this season, debuting earlier, I think it was two, three rounds ago. He's West kicked Coast a goal, kick he's had eight tackles, goals. he's done well. Up with a chance to run. Great mark. West Coast, too many marks. And that Inside is full time. The Eagles the cap off a dominant performance. In fact, it's their biggest win of the season, the with their equal highest score as well West coming from this today, game Garrett. matching. There was a round really four against Port, I believe, at uh, Adelaide Oval. Uh, we scored 120 points and kept them to three fewer points, so that is our biggest win. The stats tell the tale with 44 inside 50s to 31. We did have less disposals, that does make sense. We had more tackles, got slapped in, in marks, I could feel that as I was playing. But overall, you can't really argue with that performance. Tim Kelly had 19 possessions, that's more than anyone, any Eagle this year. And Lockie Wheeler had 16 for the host, Josh Kennedy on the return to form for four goals, supported by Archie and Darling with three each. Now I'm guessing Tim Kelly is man of the match, and Dom Sheed as well bobbed up for two or three goals, and he gets two votes, and he is still our Brownlow smoke. Before we finish up, guys, that is the ladder. We sit nine straight, which is awesome. 150% percentage, which is great. We're just ahead of Collingwood, Brisbane, and Hawthorne. A few of the boys who get around this career will be pleased about that. A few Hawthorne supporters. Uh, GWS fifth. Adelaide surprising us with sixth. 
Young King Cookson's North Melbourne sit in seventh, which is a very good effort. Richmond sit down in 11th with five and five. I still feel like they're a sleeping giant. And if we look at the bottom of the ladder, the Doggies, Suns, Saints, and Port make up the bottom four. I think I might have been, I might have ruined Port's season with that big win over them. They haven't turned around the uh, momentum yet. But, but that's it, guys. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of this AFL Evolution 2 career. It's been real, even though we had a big convincing win. I'm, I expect the next couple of weeks will be a lot closer. We host the Giants at the Stadium, and then we take on the Collingwood Magpies at the MCG. I hope to see you there, guys. Cheers.